Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Game Version Differences. I have here today a game called Curse of the Catacombs, which was released in about 1993. It's part of the Catacomb Adventure series, which started off as basically some 2D games by id Software, and eventually id created Catacomb 3 or Catacomb 3D, sometimes it's called, which is a really great game. In fact, all these games are really great. They're, they're came before Wolfenstein 3D, before Doom. They're first-person um, shooters or zappers. I'm not sure what you want to call them because the main character sort of shoots uh, bullets out of his fingers. <laughs> it's just a fantasy game, but really a lot of fun. And after it created their things, Softest Publishing went ahead and created a whole trilogy, Catacombs Abyss, which was a shareware game, and there was Catacombs Armageddon and Catacombs Apocalypse. Now, this Curse of the Catacombs is actually a repackaging of the second one of that, that trilogy, Catacombs Armageddon. Um, I'm not sure if that Catacombs Armageddon ever had an actual physical release. If it has, I haven't seen it. Maybe somebody else can educate me on that. But at some point, it, it, that was, again, it was Sharer model that was being used. At some point, it was picked up and published in a box by Expert Software, which was calling themselves Frogman at the time. And they called it Curse of the Catacombs instead of Catacombs Armageddon for whatever reason, maybe some kind of licensing reason or, or trademark or who knows. In any case, there's two different um, boxes for this game for some reason. I'm not sure why. And I'm not sure which one came first, but that's what I wanted to do in this video is sort of explore that a little bit. But you see the box art is pretty cool for both of them. We have like this... this Killer bunny rabbit from out of Monty Python or something. Uh, oh, it's a bunny! A killer bunny! And then we have a skeleton. We have a, an eyeball, some kind of beholder or something. Interestingly enough, in this one here, we have another giant um, eyeball on the top here. And it's a $5 rebate. Buy you two Frogman games, get $5 directly from Frogman software. On the one over here on the other side, um, we have a little mage or something hiding behind the, the wall there. So... We, we have a little bit different, and obviously this one has this panel on the left. It says a 3D virtual reality adventure filled with twists, turns, tunnels, and terror. Um, and I think they have a very low standard for virtual reality back then. It's just a first-person game, but back then that was pretty awesome just to have a first-person shooter-type game, so they called it virtual reality. Um, here they have, they don't have that. Here the artwork, again, is a little bit more expanded. So when I first saw this, my initial thought was maybe this is the, the initial version just because... It looks like there's more of the artwork showing on the box, and then they covered it up afterwards. Um, and maybe this, they added the mage at that point because they took they, they decided to get rid of the five dollar rebate. So that was my initial guess, but it's just a guess. Let's look at the other sides of the of the box here. This is the back. Um, very very similar, not exactly the same though. Um, here 3D is sort of uh, a little bit smaller. Here, 3D is, is larger. You know, again, maybe that marketing was trying to emphasize different things at the time. The font size also is a little bit different, um, especially here where it says, is this a dream? Is this a dream or it's bigger? Um, they emphasize 3D more here. 3D is popping out here and here. Over here, it's just regular small things. So I don't know. Maybe at some point, maybe this was a little bit later again. They decided to emphasize the 3D more um, or maybe the opposite. Really, I don't know for sure. Um, but again, they're all, all the sides are a little bit different. Like, here's the bottom of the box. Um, like, 3D virtual reality adventure. One of them is yellow and red. One is just red. Um, one here, they have the expert software address. And the one here, they don't. Here, there's an extra sticker. Some other number. So again, I suspect this one is later, but I don't have any evidence to prove that, really. So... Um, anybody has any more info, we can let us know. But let's see if we learn anything else from opening them up. So, I'm opening up the two boxes here. Now, both are supposed to come with um, three and a half and five and a quarter inch discs, it says here on the side. And they both have the three and a half inch disc. So, I'll take those out. However, only this one on the left here has the five and a quarters. Um, there's two discs, it has both of them. The other one doesn't. It has a little piece of paper and said that's instead that says we're temporarily out of five and a quarter inch diskettes for this program. So obviously this particular copy, they're out of five and a quarter inch discs. It doesn't mean for sure that this one came later, but it is another clue that perhaps it did. 
because they were phasing out the five and a quarters, maybe they decided not to make more. This one has a nice uh, temporary tattoo. On the back of both the boxes, it says it comes with a Frogman tattoo, and I assume it's just missing from this one. It's just not, it wasn't, not that it would never had it, but it just was missing from this copy, so I won't use that as anything. Now we look at the actual manual. Um, the manuals are pretty similar. However, um, this is a clue which I usually use to tell which one came first. There's two clues here. One is that this one has some green on the bottom, and this one is all black. And if you flip through the manuals, you'll see that's a pattern that repeats. Like here's this first page here has um, multicolors, you know, such that it is. It's only green and black. But this one here on the right is just all black. So it seems sort of like this was like a later photocopy. Like they ran out of these and they decided let's photocopy it and let's save some money this time. Um, or let's use cheaper printing or whatever. And the other thing that's related to that is that this one is actually, I can't show this in the video, unfortunately, but this one, the quality of the paper stock is much higher. It's a much higher pa quality paper stock. And this one, it feels like um, very, very cheap photocopy paper. So, again, my guess is that this is, this is an earlier version uh, than this one is. Um, the, the actual manuals are almost exactly the same, aside from the two things I just mentioned. Um, I couldn't find any differences inside the actual manual. The only difference on the back, interestingly enough, where this one here just has sort of a, the plain logo and information, the one on the right. But the one on the left has a whole thing about, did you know that frogs may become extinct? And what's killing the frogs? And Frogman Software supports the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. So I, I don't know why they would have taken this away in later versions. It seems like a nice thing to have unless they stopped supporting the National Fish and Wildlife, Wildlife Foundation. Or maybe because um, it says here, proceeds from Frogman Software will be matched by the, the NFWF who will award more than 64 grants totaling over $2.6 million in 1993. Maybe this was already now past 1993 and they thought it was dated, so they decided not to include it here. Um, or they didn't want to update it for 1994. Again, I'm not sure. That's, that's my speculation. But again, I do believe this copy of the manual is, is, more, is earlier than this one. And that gives more evidence to the fact that this whole box is probably earlier than this one. That same color thing extends into the registration cards. Um, again, this one happens to be a little bit dirty, but it, you can see that it's green on, maybe it was white at some point, now it's beige. Um, this one here is, is just plain black and white. So there's some reduction in quality over time, and again, that implies this is earlier, this one is later, which is probably the case. Sorry if they look the same. Um, this one here and a couple of additional uh, catalogs and whatnot, it doesn't mean anything really, but I will note that... Um, it has the stick this form here for the rebate that was mentioned on the cover, and it says it expires 12-31-93. So again, maybe they just had this rebate initially when they first were getting started and they decided to phase it out over time. And if you look at the actual catalog that comes with it, um, it's only a few games here, and they're all say developed by Softdisk Publishing. So um, looks like that's what they were primarily doing was distributing the Softdisk games at this point. Yeah, the order form itself, it basically says, here's the expert software order form, and it says here's a bunch of DOS stuff, which is basically productivity software, and same thing with the Windows, and there's a section Frogman Games, and it's the four games that are listed in this catalog that I showed before, and all of them say new, one of them is Curse of the Canico, it was only 15 bucks, I sort of wish I bought it at that time, but they're all basically listed as new. So it seems like, again, this is a, a form and a catalog that came with the game when it was first put out. So again, I guess the bottom line is, um, I'm not sure again, but it seems as if this one on the left here is an earlier copy. Um, and again, if anybody has any information that indicates, you know, confirms or denies that, I would certainly like to hear it. But for now, uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good day, everybody.